four, three. We'll do it live. Yeah. The general craziness of it, the impact on your life. We have gone through so many stories and we said, you know what? This should not be kept to the two of us. Hi, Megan. Hi. You know what should not be kept to the two of us? What is that? How many life skills we never learned in TV. Isn't it hysterical? It really is, but I never realized it until I joined the real world. Same. And the hysterical part of it is these are skills that pretty much everybody has had to do in pretty much every job they've pretty much ever had as long as they're working in an office or, or doing or things they learned in high school, which I somehow we'll we'll talk about them all specifically. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I skipped that. Too. I cut you off. I just mean like it's not even stuff that anybody would think you need help with. <laughs> People are flabbergasted, flabbergasted when I tell them I have, ready for it, everybody? Never made a PowerPoint. I never Don't made a PowerPoint. How? Couldn't do Point. it. Didn't know how to open it. I was like, what's the icon look like? I still am not sure how you spell Excel. Is it E-X-C-E-L or a big X-E-L? I think it's e? I, I, Okay. So, so today's title is is skills we never learned. So in case anybody thought that Megan and I had it all together and we, you know, are on top of the world and know how to do everything, you are going to be like very surprised at these skills that we don't know. So number one, PowerPoint. Number two, Excel. Yeah. Can't do Excel. It, it gives me hives. I, it literally makes me go like, oh my God, oh my God. I've never been asked. To, no, wait, no. Yes, no. Uh, my My current jobby job. Uh, at one point they wanted, you know, some updates and this is that. And they said, um, well, why don't you send us, send us an Excel sheet? And I said, I can give you a word doc. <laughs> Same. Oh my God. And I'm working now doing stuff that involves tech and like, so Excel is a thing. And I'm like, somebody else is going to have to take that Excel. To doc. be honest with you, I don't even know what information you would put in an Excel sheet that would be relevant to me even now. Like all I can think of was like maybe an address book. I don't know. I mean, does people it, use it for like everything. Does because it do math for you or is that how to use it? Where should we have learned this? Should we have learned this in college? Or I don't think so. Or should you have learned it like in your first job? When do people learn this? Really? Yeah. Is there an Excel class? Should we take the Excel class? I thought I maybe should learn how to make a PowerPoint when I was applying for jobs outside of TV because yeah. I thought that it was like vitally important. And I think it kind of is. Yeah. Um, I can't, I don't really know how to make, like, here's another thing. I don't, somebody was like, oh, just print that out. And I was like, okay, there will like, just, you know, instead of printing it, just turn it into a PDF. And I was like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it took me a really long time to realize that a PDF is actually a link. Like, so it's like a flyer, but it's like a link. I didn't know that either. <laughs> um, or, and we've talked about this one before too. Basically, we've said before, oh, I God, totally lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. I had a text come in. <laughs> I could have gone with it. No, nope, I got it back. I got it back. I got it back. back. Yeah, she got it. Calendar invites. That's the other half. Oh. Because we never had a calendar, right? I mean, I know that some departments, like the promotions department, they would have a calendar. But one of the reasons I really loved news, and I say this all the time, is that you can't work ahead and you can't get behind. Yes. News is what it is that day, right? Yes. So having a calendar is kind of, it doesn't make any sense unless you're working on, you know, investigative stories or different promotional stories. So yeah, we it was one of those work. things. Yeah. If ever, first of all, that's the other thing. If you needed to call somebody, you just called them. It wasn't like, can I call you in two days at noon? People don't like that. Yes, that's a thing. Like if I have a task that I am supposed to be doing, not the highest mountain <laughs> or the deepest sea will stop me from just being like, excuse me, I need this. Thank you. And I think it annoys the heck out of everybody else. But in my mind, I'm like, 
we can set an appointment for five days from now to deal with this thing. Or I can just pick this phone up, call you right now. We can get it done. Yeah. I had a woman I was working with on another project and um, I said, so this is what I need you to do X, Y, and Z. And she said, well, when do you need me to do that? And the question really confused me (laughs) because I was thinking like, well, I'm asking you now. So I need it now. (laughs) But then I was like, well, I don't really need it now. So what's the appropriate answer? The appropriate answer is I, I don't, you don't, need me to tell you just you need to do it right i can't still don't even know how i should have answered that because i think i just said um you know it, soon as i stuttered and couldn't get it out i feel that being in the news business does the following okay when you have a task there there was no procrastinating for us for our whole working life. You can't, you can't procrastinate. Procrastinate means you're just sitting in the live truck when they're coming out live to you. Or like I'm sitting back in the weather department and my graphics aren't made and I'm standing in front of a blank green wall. You, you can't procrastinate. It's so strange. Cause it's like that we, we fully understand that's not an option. It is not an option. And, and so any you kind of do it. timeline other than now just doesn't make sense to us. And I don't think it will ever change. That's just now how I am hardwired. I am hardwired that way too. And actually, I think it makes me incredibly efficient. I think it also annoys the heck out of people because I expect the same from them. Right, right. And they don't want to do that. <laughs> so I don't know about you, and it is different for weather, but... <clears throat> I learned from my very first job in Lubbock, Texas, you have to make slot. Make slot means if you are supposed to be, you know, live at five or if your package, your story is due by two, it better be in by then unless you have a heck of a good excuse, which the only other excuse would be breaking news that prohibited you from doing it. But there isn't an excuse. There wasn't one. Right. So in Texas, so if you ever missed slot, you were suspended a day without pay. Wow. Yeah. That's intense. Okay, that's intense. Mine, I mean, the graphics had to be done. You had to be ready. The wiggle room there is that I suppose if you're running really, really, really super late, maybe only two of your graphics are done in order to get you through that first weather hit, and then you sit down and bust out the rest. Like, I don't remember that happening very often outside of like, my makeup's all jacked up and I had to change clothes and something pushed me super duper late or whatever. But for the most part, you still make slot. You just have to figure out what you're going to be able to fill it with. I think in the weather. Right. Right. And it's, and it may not be the, it may not be your best, but Aaron and I've said this a bunch of times better than your best. Better than good. It's It's done. done. That's right. And and, my life philosophy. it's, that's how it works. And it's like, yes, you want to do your best, but you have to get it done. And if you can't get it done at your best, you still have to get it done. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Right. And so I think that's the way I totally operate hundred percent. And there were, there were times when I had, uh, turned in a package, which was, you know, in on time, but there were jump cuts or repeat shots or, you know, maybe the sot wasn't where it was supposed to be, but you still fed it in. And then afterwards you would have to re-edit it so that it was okay for the web copy. A hundred percent. And I think like for weather, because everything was ad lib, again, maybe you had a day where you were really crashing because of some severe weather or something and your graphics weren't great and it was still done. And that thing you said earlier about nothing hung over your head because you were done. That was the (laughs) one beautiful thing about it. It was also the thing that after a while started to weigh on me a little bit because I wanted and I needed to be like building something, you know what I mean? And seeing progress on something or like, you know what I mean? Like I, I kind of like wanted that. Um, and I do like that. I don't like the hanging over your head stuff, but quite honestly, and I'm guessing you're the same that I am not a whole heck of a lot's hanging over my head because I just get it done. (laughs) Right. Well, and I think I would also, I hate that feeling anyway. So yes. And it is, I have, I always have running to do lists and stuff and and it always gets done. Yeah. I mean, if I, I just, I can't understand it. And so now I guess, let me ask you this. How do you deal with everybody else who isn't from the TV industry 
how do you manage yourself to not that's my biggest problem like i am expecting everybody else to operate like at the speed with which i operate which is like probably only you could do that <laughs> you know what i mean or other people in the industry like so, it just doesn't move that fast also responding to emails we've talked oh, about yeah. this before right so how how have i dealt with it i have dealt with it by understanding there are some moments when people are not going to respond immediately to, immediately to me so my workaround is I have found the people I work with who do respond immediately yeah, right. and I just talk exclusively to them. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's just like, I need an answer now. I'm going to call this person because they know that I'm a little bit crazy and uptight, but then it's going to be done. And because yeah. I just don't really care what people think about me, like you said, in that respect, I know that people are going to think that I'm intense and everything's always on my timeline. And yes, both are true. I, I would agree. Yeah. And uh, yes, yes, it feels really good to hustle and get something done and put it away. I think that we actually have a complex, the way that we're talking about this. I'm realizing that other people are going to watch this and be like, okay, we get it. You want things done and you want them now. So let's, let's circle back to other skills we don't have. Okay, good. Yeah. I mean, it, guys, it's really just a thing. And I think it, clearly you can see, like Aaron said, we are both dealing with it because it is like hard for us to understand. Continue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that there will be a few friendships we will not make in the workplace, Megan, because of that. Probably. Yes. It's okay. I okay. have you anyway. It's fine. Um, so other, this, this one, oh my goodness, Megan, I couldn't stop laughing. I know I called you laughing, laughing, laughing. <laughs> Megan and I were working with a lawyer and the lawyer sent us mm, dozens of pages that needed to be read oh, and signed. So many pages. And so what he what he said was, please print these out. Already we've got a strike against us. Please print these out, sign them, and then mail them back to us. <laughs> First, yeah, right. Aaron and I were like, well, no, I think we needed, there was some scanning involved too, probably. Like print it, sign it, scan it, mail it back, email oh, it. Oh, well, back. you know what, maybe... Yes. I can't even remember because it was all, I was like, how am I going to get this done? How do I scan? Then where does it go? I was like, all right, oh. I guess I got to make a trip. Then to how me. do I yes. make it go into an email? So, <laughs> so first of all, oh, you know what though? This was one thing that we did procrastinate on because we just, we, we couldn't do it. So finally I reached yes. back out to the lawyer and I said, can you do me a favor and make these DocuSign? Cause I can handle that. And he could, except for all but one form, which had to be signed and <laughs> mailed. Correct. So we DocuSign everything. And then Megan, how much longer was it until either one of us? Oh, we didn't. That's what happened. <laughs> Finally, like two or three weeks go by. And, and I... Megan and I are both like, I can't get this done. I can't print it. I just don't. So finally, I, just I said reading to the involved lawyer, and things I don't understand. Like, yes. what's happening? This is going to sound mm -hmm. so bougie, but I was like, can you please print these out at your law office and send them in the mail to <laughs> me and to Megan with a prepaid envelope so that we can sign them and then get them back in the mail to you? The funniest part of this is. Erin signed hers and sent hers back. <laughs> we were talking and she goes, oh my God, I missed a space where I didn't sign. They had to mail it back to me. And I was like, she's like, did you miss that space? And I was like, I'm not really sure. And my envelope was literally sitting right over there, but it already was sealed. And I was like, I'm just going to send it and see. <laughs> well, guess what? I also <laughs> that same thing. <laughs> so, to do it twice. so then he had to, yes, physically mail us the forms twice for us to mail them. I couldn't stop as soon as I got that text from you that said that you didn't sign them correctly either. I was like, I am in good company. Besides the fact that this lawyer who is wonderful <laughs> must think we are the biggest <laughs> dodos, right? Ever. But it is those regular life skills that we just didn't get. Turn this into a PDF, docu. Oh, oh, what? Like it's just, we didn't have to do it. And I think, like looking back to my time, you would say, like, well, haven't you guys seen and read so many contracts in your time in TV? Like, well, not no. Well, my agent did. 
your yeah. agent reads your contract. Mine used to always send it to me in the mail with little stickies where I needed to sign. And, sign and it. that was the lawyers. And so when we got it back the second time, we did get stickies from the lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, hey, we need a lot of hand holding with this stuff. I mean, it's hysterical to me. There are many times though, you know, back to like the the technical like Excel stuff where I'll be like, Lance works from home and he'll be upstairs and I'll be like, Lance, <laughs> Lance, can you come down here? He's like, what? I don't know how to move this column over. And he's like, that sounds so stressful to me. I don't really have to do it very often. I try to avoid it at all possible. Okay. Problem. So what else? Um, calendar invites, Yeah. PowerPoint, Excel, um, printing, scanning, emailing. How about typical interviewing non-tv interviewing i'm actually okay with that i'm okay with that when it's me but i had to do an interview be the interview e so here's the difference that i have found for me you er i give her i give them all the questions ahead of time which you would never do as a journalist because i'm trying to help them lead them to key messaging so i give them all the questions ahead of time they're allowed to pick and choose what they like or suggest other ones, which would never happen. But I'm totally okay with that. Okay, that makes sense. Well, the interviews that I'm involved with include tech stuff where I'm like, ooh, yep. Now, I'm learning. But there's a lot that I have to learn, right? The, the difference, I think, is that when you are and have been a journalist, you are more than willing to learn. It's just funny, the stuff that we have to learn, like I'll buckle down and figure out whatever it is that I have to figure out. But there are some things that like the rest of the world just seems to know and I have no clue. <laughs> and it's funny. I just, I'm like, yeah, I don't know how to do that. Yeah. You don't want me to do I, that. I volunteered for book club um, for my daughters and my son and daughter's school. And so the mom who was like in charge of it put together a PowerPoint for us to learn. And so I sat down and I was like, wow, Kristen, you made a PowerPoint? She was like, uh, yeah. I, Cause I thought like it was a huge time investment and she just, again, I would have been up in front of everybody with my word doc. <laughs> I maybe would have printed it out. Relying on the melodic tones of your anchor voice. <laughs> <laughs> I would have sat down in front of them at a table. Oh yeah. I think there's some inherent like ego there for both of us where, at least for me, where I feel like if I'm, if I'm like presenting something, I am like going into it. I'm like, they're never going to see a presentation this good again. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. And I'm not, because I'm like, I know I can sell this. It's just like the weather. But your presentations, people are can't just talk. you talking. your presentations are just you talking. That's right. Yeah. yeah. I'm not talking about a presentation of like a PowerPoint. No, just the talking part. The I talking would be, part I can do. I'm going to be totally honest with you right now. Mm. I would be more likely to go to Walgreens and buy a poster board and cut out magazine pictures for a presentation than I would to be actually making a PowerPoint right now. If I really I, wanted to, to sell them, give them a poster board. I have, I, I could not start a PowerPoint. I would not know what to do. <laughs> you could Google it. I would try to Google it. But then things move, like the words move over and I just end up getting frustrated. It's like, these are life skills, guys. My children are learning this. They're not operating in PowerPoint. They're in some other program that they have for school after Chromebooks. But they have to make basically a PowerPoint presentation to talk about like an animal or their Native American project or whatever it is. And I'm like, Willow will be like, mom. And I'm like, <laughs> all right. to, I all say like go to Lana or go to Leo because he has the same computer. I can't help you. Like I cannot. Although I will say the very, 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 very best skill that I ever learned was how to put your hands on a keyboard the right way and type correctly so that you don't have to peck and search and all that stuff. That is a really good skill. Yeah. I no, I mean, we've done typing tests competitions before I can type up to, and I mean, you and me, Megan have done during commercial breaks. You beat me on that. Didn't you? Yes. I, I'm a very fast typist. I can You're, type up to 80 words a minute, but who won the States? Oh, you by a mile. I cleaned your clock. You did. You really did. <laughs> so try this sometime guys. And then comment below. We printed out 
no one will do this, by the way, because I'm the only one who even <laughs> But we, <laughs> we printed out a blank U.S. map. And then, like, how fast can you fill it out with all the states? Man! After all the markets I've worked in, I think I could probably do a couple like counties for every market I was in. Yeah, no, to be honest, so it wasn't even how fast we could do it, Megan. It was to see if we could do it accurately. You were doing it as fast as you could. I was just trying to make sure I got all 50 states in the right place. Right, 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 right. I try to do this with my kids too. They're they're pretty good at it. I think because I am like, what? Militant you don't know where it. Vermont is? Sit down. So <laughs> what I wanted to do, and I would still like to do this with you, Megan, is to take each state one by one and cut it out and glue them separately on a piece of paper and maybe handicap you by like three minutes. And then maybe you and I could go toe to toe if I had a regular map. I could do that. I bet you could. I bet you would still beat me. I think I would. Yeah. I'm soups good at it. I mean, I looked at a map for every day of my life for 15 years, 16, yeah, how many years that was, you know? And I loved maps before anyway. I think that's part of the reason I got into the weather. I just freaking love maps. <laughs> so it's lame and nerdy, but it's thing, one of yeah. my favorite things. All right. Any other skills that we never learned? We can do another one with skills we did learn, which is fun. Skills we did learn is a lot. And also well, some of them are not useful now. <laughs> I haven't had to make a single weather graphic. <laughs> Technically, that should mean I'm good at a PowerPoint, though, right? Maybe I just need a five hundred thousand dollar weather computer to make a PowerPoint, <laughs> then I'd be okay. From what I hear from everybody, it's very easy to make a PowerPoint. Yeah, I don't believe that. But then I'm just gonna, yeah, it's I'm too old to learn at this. Point. But ha- yeah, I don't want to learn. Yes. Hey, so we should challenge our viewers then to send us skills. Ask us if we know it in the comments and we will answer and say yes or no. I think that's a good idea because I think there's going to be a lot that we don't even know we don't know. Oh, definitely. (laughs) Dude, (laughs) don't even get me started. (laughs) Yeah. All right. (sighs) You're doing well for yourself, Megan, for not knowing a lot of things, you know? I'm I'm trying. Again, I, I think I can give a hell of a presentation. Just don't ask me to make it visual. <laughs> <laughs> visual like this. Hey, everybody. You know oh, what, that's what, another thing. I'll be on Zoom calls and I'll start looking at myself and I'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing to point at, but yeah. in my mind it's there and I just do my thing, you know? I do. Goodbye, <laughs> Megan. <laughs> Everybody right below. See you. Bye.